So one thing I like to do is always look at big stores as well. Always look at big stores as reference to understand things in a better way. So this store right here on Etsy has done $42 million to date. And it currently does $300,000 every single month on Etsy. Right, like this store is an incredible one to look at in terms of understanding the market more and like really, 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 really understanding absolutely everything around Etsy. Okay, like forty-two million dollars on Etsy is a fucking huge store. Three hundred thousand dollars monthly is is quite a bit of of money, you know. Especially on Etsy as a platform, three hundred thousand dollars a month is quite a bit. So. Really, I love to look at bigger stores because it just gain, it gives you an understanding of absolutely everything, right? Like if you look at this kind of store here, you can't check their sales, but we can come down, we can check out the reviews and see which listings are doing the best for them and start to understand it. So with this kind of store right here, there's a lot of different, there's like trends that you can see across everything. So something here, you can see obviously the oval, right? So purple, diamondy kind of thing. You can see that there's one review there, one review there, one review there of oval type of stuff. There's another oval review there. And you can start to see overall trends. Oval, <laughs> overall. You can start to see overall trends on listings and start to understand what you should list on your own jewelry store in a cheaper variation. Obviously this right here, I mean, this is actually dirt cheap as well. This is super cheap. But this kind of stuff right here, you can easily find on AliExpress similar items and then come along and start listing them and start winning with them. And like huge stores like this, often people don't necessarily think about or target. I doubt anyone in here has actually seen this store, like watching this now has seen this store, but it's done 42 fucking million dollars in revenue. You know, they're doing 300 grand monthly in revenue, you know? And they just have such a simple strategy, right? Like in terms of their strategy is really just, let's just fucking list every fucking product possible in the entire planet within jewelry, within our weird little niche, right? Set almost 7,000 listings. It comes down to just mass testing, mass listing, loads of different stuff, figuring out what works. And they're clearly doubling down on what works as well. Like they're listing more rings. Obviously right in the beginning of their store, it wasn't succeeding, you know, a couple of years ago. I think they've been going for quite a while now, but these guys are absolutely fucking printing because they just know what fucking works, you know, and they're just doubling down, doubling down, doubling down. Like these kind of stores I absolutely love looking at because it kind of, it, 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 it makes it very, very clear that you don't need to, that you don't necessarily need to do all these fancy techniques and all these fancy things. You just need to have the correct product and everything else is very, very, very easy to do. Like if you look at their listing, their title right here, I would never write a title like this, you know? Like I try and overcomplicate it myself a lot of the time, you know? But this title, incredibly simple. This description is frankly dog shit. Absolute dog shit, right? But they're getting sales for this listing and it doesn't matter because they've got so many great products and they've just listed and tested so many different things. They have 6,000 listings. You know, if you have 6,000 listings, you're gonna sell some fucking shit, you know? You're gonna sell some stuff. So just because they have the pure quantity of listings, they're going to absolutely win. Like one thing that we've started to do a lot more now is actually just list a hell of a lot more products on our store. And that's just really helped us fucking win across the board and just push out the competition. You know, really we're, really what I recommend is listing like one product a day in the beginning of a store. But once you've got like 30, 40, 50 orders, you can start doing two, you can start doing three, you can start doing more and more and more and more listings. And that's what really enables you to just fucking print and absolutely win. Like this store is absolutely printing, you know? And there's also quite an interesting strategy with this store. Like you'll see that they don't have any free shipping on their items and they're charging for shipping on even like quite cheap items. Um, so let's find something. I mean, 36 pound is quite cheap, this, this last item. Delivery cost is 17 pound to the UK, you know? They're charging for shipping on everything. So they're going for more of a higher quality thing. They're, sh they're a bit of a weird store to be honest to look at, but they're doing $300,000 every single month in, in jewelry. This shit is so cheap to produce. So cheap to produce. So cheap, you know? And it's not vintage or anything special, you know? Like it's literally bullshit jewelry. Like you can tell because they've got so many reviews, you know? Like so incredibly simple, so incredibly easy. And people just fucking print.